Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sadie and today we're going to be doing this look using the brand new Jeffree Star Pink Religion palette. I really wanted to do something a bit more natural. I do have other videos on this with um, the whole collection and the tutorial which I'll link here or I'll put in the description box. So if you'd like to have done this look then keep on watching. Alright, I think my microphone's working. I think it's okay. I've tested it a little bit so I do apologise if I do get the odd little croak. Um, basically... There's going to be a lot of noise in this video, so please ignore it. My, I've been sat here for hours and nothing, and now all of a sudden my neighbours now decide they want to cut their head. So I really do apologise. They literally need two doors down away from me as well. So hopefully they do it in the bits where I don't need any sound. But um, yeah, I'm doing this look today. Really, really nice and simple. I thought I'd do like, well it's not, it's still a bright colour, but I thought I'd do like a more natural sort of version of Pink Religion. And yeah, I really, really like it. So... Let's just get on with the video. It's going to be a really nice short one. It's really, really quick and easy. Nothing difficult. And before he starts trimming his hedge again. So I've got my um, P. Louise base on. Then I'm going to take my Morphe M441. And the first shade I'm going to take is Sugar Saviour, which I actually do have on as my blush, which I am loving as a blush. And I'm literally just going to... There it is. pop through my crease just very very nice and easy then I'm going to take a Morphe R37 I'm really sorry if I got really bright and really dark in this video just because the sun's coming in and out and I'm going to take the shade Saint Star which is like the lighter pink of the palette and just blend the edges of that I now have to try and remember what I actually done. I'm going to go back in with, what was it, Sugar Saviour, just to deepen it slightly. I took a Morphe M433 and I took the shade Prom Night and I just popped that in my outer corner, sort of into the crease just really, really slightly. I wanted it I'm also just on the edge, if you can hear me. Back in with the first brush and blended that in. I then took the smallest amount of handbag queen and popped that in my outer corner as well. Sort of just like in the same sort of area. And I mean just really, really slightly and then blended it back out with that brush I had prom night on. And then just took a Crowlin brush, just a really nice like flat sort of pencil brush. And I took the shade Princess Crown and oh my god. And I just popped that on my brow bone. Then just on my oh my god I'm like waiting for the pauses. Then on my finger I took Frosting Cult and I just popped down my lid, not any like neatly, just chucked it on. Also I want to say thank you for everyone who let me know, uh, who let me know, who let me know on my recent videos about my microphone or then it's too quiet for you to hear me. Um, I don't do it intentionally obviously but I, it's absolutely fine on my computer when I'm listening to it but I've noticed that sometimes even like my colour saturation changes when I go when I put it onto YouTube. I just I don't know what to do, but I promise I'll try and figure it out for next time. Just gonna blend the colours into this again. I then took that frosting culture, which is the pink, and I popped that in my inner corner. And I also took a bit of Princess Crown in my inner corner as well. So to put a bit of primer on the bottom, I literally just done what I done on the top to the bottom. So I got the shade. Uh, actually, I'm sure I done it a little bit differently, and now I can't like remember what I done. But never mind. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with Sugar Saviour. Then some Prom Night. A 
bit of Saint Star. Go back in with a bit more on that. I took another colour and I can't remember what colour it was. Something's telling me that it was Lollipop Luxury. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of that. Yeah, that was it. Then I just took those shimmer shades in my inner corner just down a little bit more. And I actually grabbed the Pink Purity out of the Sacred Glass. I took a little bit on my finger and on the brush. I'm so sorry for that noise, but I've just got to get on with it. Uh, I just popped it like in the inner duct of my eye. Um, that is literally it. I'm going to pop some eyeliner on and some lashes, which I will tell you what lashes they are now if I can find them. They are my House of Boo Peekaboo lashes and I go in with the Maybelline Lasting Drama um, liquid eyeliner. Also, I'm currently waiting for my mystery boxes. They are out for delivery. So it's kind of good that I'm recording this looks so I actually have a full face of makeup to record that one as well. I'm so excited. I hope to go to get Stripper Magic. It's all I want. Those boxes will be so worth it for me if I had Stripper Magic in them. It's the only extreme floss I haven't got. Anyway, right, I'm just going to do a nice little smallish liner. Right, this is my little baby wing. I normally have bigger liner than this. Um, I'm going to pop some mascara on. My, obviously, as you know, F proof mascara. I feel like I'm right Barbie with this kind of makeup on. It's not me, is it? Right, I'm going to pop these lashes on. I'm going to zoom you out and tell you about my base makeup. And that is practically it. So I'll be back with you in a second. But that made no sense. I'll be back with you in a minute. Yeah. So there we have it, guys. Here's the finished look. So my base is Urban Bronzers Revolution Pro. I did actually use um, Ice Cold Highlighter, but I did actually use Pink Purity um, from the Sacred Glass Highlighter. My lips are... Ooh. Birthday Suit Lip Liner with Mannequin and I'm Nude Ombre Velour Look Lipstick on my lips. Um, yeah, I really like this look. It's very Barbie. It's very, like, pinky for me, but I really, really like it. It literally takes minutes to do something like this. It was not rushed at all. Um, yeah, I really, really like it, and I hope you guys do too. It's something different for me. I don't normally do a lot of natural. I just, even when I was doing this, I was like, add more. <laughs> add more. Yeah, I really, really like it. I'm literally waiting on my mystery boxes, so this will be the look I'll be using for my mystery boxes as well. Um, I'm starting to get really, really fond of this palette. I really, really like it. And it's still nice to know that I can create a look that still has a little bit more colour. But still really nice and natural as well. Obviously, I could have gone way more than this. And it's taking me everything not to, but here we are. Also, just want to say hi to all my new subscribers. And just thank you for everyone. It's been ridiculously overwhelming. Um, the past few days. Because also, like I said, I'm very grateful I received Jeffrey PR. But... Ooh. another dream came true i'm on the jsc instagram feed page like they use one of my photos um and that was it like my whole entire like i do this for fun i don't care about anything but it's nice when a brand actually notices you and um supports you and jeffrey pr was it but i was like now nah, there's still one more thing i want to be on the i want to be on the feed i want to be on the page and um yeah the amount of people who messaged me and commented and just the love anyway like jeffree star dm me which i literally couldn't stop shaking i was like more but yeah it's been unbelievably overwhelming and i just want to thank you all so much it's been an awesome awesome few days so i really hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe if you are new and i hope to see you in the next one